Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I cannot believe it's already almost the end of Q1 of 2024. And so I thought I would jump on here and just kind of give you guys an update on how my 2024 planner system has been going, what I've been using, what didn't really work out and what I'm using now. Um, so if you guys haven't seen the video of me talking about my 2024 system, I'll link it down below along with everything that I'm using or have used or everything that I'm showing in this video, basically, it'll all be in the description down below. I'm usually pretty good about linking everything. So if there's anything you're interested in, just check it out there. But let's talk about um, what I thought I was going to use for 2024. So I started out the year with mainly a two planner system. One was going to be for work and then one was going to be for kind of personal slash, um, you know, memory keeping. And I was really trying to keep it simple because every single year I started the year trying to to use like 8 trillion planners as a lot of us do because we just want to use everything right and it never works out for me so this year I try to be a lot more um I don't know if diligent is the word but just really taking into consideration what am I actually going to use and planning out my system not that it went perfectly anyways <laughs> so let me start with this so I was obsessed with the Franklin Covey method. I did a video about it and I think it resonated with a bunch of you guys. Again, I'll link everything down below. Um, and so I was really interested in the method, but I had never actually tried the Franklin Covey binders. So I went down that rabbit hole and I was really interested in these zipper binders, which are kind of hard to find. So um, I got this one, which is the Franklin Covey signature binder, I think in the compact size. And I thought this would be a really good one to set up with um, my Franklin Covey inspired inserts and kind of use this method all out for work planning. As you can tell, that clearly didn't really pan out considering how filled out this is. Um, and I'll explain why in a minute. But yeah, that was what I was going to use for work. I had literally set it up with all the tabs and everything. These I think are just from AliExpress and they're actually super cute. I'll try to link it down below if they still have it. And yeah, and I had it all organized and I was gonna do it by month because that was a big thing for me is I had never organized my ring binders by month. I had always done like categories, right? But I was thinking for work, it makes more sense for me if it's, by month because a lot of the things that I do, it's really um, centered around the month. So I'm in finance, so like month ends, forecasts, everything is related to a month. So that really made sense for me when I set this up. Now, the reason why I didn't end up using it was because I ended up getting a new job. Still in finance, but when I'm super busy and I have a lot going on. I just don't have the time to write it all down in paper form because, you know, I'm already on the computer because obviously, you know, I'm doing things on the computer for work. So especially when I'm learning something new, I need to be typing a lot of notes, right? And so it just, it, it didn't make sense for me to do it in here on hard copy when I was using one, one note for my notes, right? So that's why this kind of fell by the wayside. Um, yeah, so that was at that, but I'm still loving this idea. And I think maybe when, you know, I catch up at work, I could revisit this at some point down the road, but just with how busy things are right now, especially when you're ramping up, um, paper for work isn't fully working. Although <laughs> as I progress, you will see that I do kind of incorporate paper again. So let me get into that after. But yeah, so that's why this didn't get used, but I loved the setup. I really, really did. So that was um, the work planner. And then what I had in mind for um, personal was digital planning. And the reason why I had digital planning in mind is, as you guys may or may not know, I have two young girls. And so um, a lot of my memory keeping or my like day-to-day -day planning what I like to do is take pictures because I'm not really I'm not really a writer and so like journaling for me 
I just, I don't like journaling too much. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at it, but I just don't love writing. So I love inserting photos. So I was going to use uh, one of my digital planners. This one is my docket planner, which, you know, has all the sections that I need for personal planning. You know, it has my lifestyle stuff. I could do my finances. I have, you know, the productivity stuff. I have self-improvement. It literally had everything. And then on top of that, I could do the uh, memory planning on the dailies. Just gonna scroll over here. Um, I could do my dailies and insert photos in this nice area and you know type and journal if I wanted to. So that was kind of my plan for personal. Okay, and so that was actually working. I'm not gonna show you ones that are filled out just because it has a lot of um, photos like I mentioned and it's a lot of my kids so I just, uh, I'm not gonna show those but it was working for me for quite a while. And for me, I have dabbled in and out of digital planning so often in the past year or two. I really want digital planning to work for me 100%. Um, and yeah, it's hard because I do miss paper. I really do sometimes miss paper, um, but I'm really trying to switch over to digital. To be honest, if I could be 100% digital, I would want to because that's where the future is. You don't waste trees, everything is compact. But I have to admit, I do I do miss paper. Um, so yeah, so that's what um, I was doing for my personal. And the nice thing about digital as well is I could kind of switch over between planners very easily. And I'm not actually buying anything new and it's all contained on my iPad, right? Like I have my um, Hobonichi Cousin Planner and I, you know, updated that as well. And I could just switch between them and it felt like I was using something new, but there wasn't any new stuff. So that was that. And I bought this um, Moterm B6 Zip subsequently. And I just love how it fits in here. Um, you're actually able to lay it flat if you just like press it down a little bit. You'll see that it lays flat pretty well, which I was really shocked about. And I was actually like concerned about when I bought it. But yeah, love this. Okay. So let me tell you how um, my planner system started to evolve. So what ended up kind of happening is as I got into, well, let me finish off with this first. So this one wasn't working when I took on the new job in December, right? And this one was um, still working because I was still using this, but then I slowly transitioned basically to purely digital because like I said, I started the new job. I couldn't keep up with this. So I went over to digital because it was just easier. And then, like I said, of course, <laughs> because I only had this form as a planner, I was really, really missing paper, right? So then I started trying to incorporate paper again. So the first thing that I did was I think for the end of the year, I had purchased the Sterling Ink um, Standard TN planner, common planner. And I was like, okay, maybe... I know I can't do my full work planning in here, but maybe I could kind of use this as a work pre-planner and just write in kind of tasks and things I'm supposed to do. And again, as you can tell, I tried to do that for like the first month and realized again, there was too much stuff I was trying to organize with a new job and this wasn't gonna work. Um, so you'll see I have not yet filled anything else out, which is unfortunate. And the other thing I guess I realized was the size wasn't really resonating with me. The standard TN, it just reminded me of a journal and it just didn't feel like work. Not necessarily not work appropriate, but it just felt weird having this thing on my work desk. I don't know why. It's not like it's not professional. It's just something about this reminding me of a journal. So that wasn't working. And then in the new year, I um, we went on vacation. And whenever I go on vacation, I'm always drawn to a Passport TN just because they're so cute and they're just like, they fit perfectly in your hand. They're so compact. You can take it with you easily. And it, it's a traveler's notebook, you know, you're supposed to travel with it, I guess. And so I hopped into this, you know, for some paper and for my trip because I set this up as kind of like a little trip planner and I loved it. And I loved it for quite a while. If you were on my Instagram, you would have seen that I was really obsessed with this for quite a while, even after I got back from my trip. You know, I like doing these little trip planner 
uh, booklets and then I have one for each of my trips which I just love I got this sterling ink passport weekly um, and I started trying to use this a little bit more for some of my uh, personal stuff so kind of moving away a little bit from the digital and then doing some of it in here and yeah I even started a new little notebook at the back to try to learn how to do some sketching and stuff and yeah, I was really, really obsessed with this for actually quite a while. I'm surprised at how long I was obsessed with this. And I was thinking like, it's so me that last year in 2023, when everybody loved notebooks and Passport TN, I know people jumped around a lot in 2023, but I feel like people love Traveler's Notebooks in 2023. <laughs> I was not into the Traveler's Notebook as much. And then, of course, everybody goes back into Rings in 2024, and I go into my Passport TN, was what I was thinking. But I was like, whatever. I love it. And so I was using this for a while. I thought about um, switching over to Personal Rings, and I did a video of, you know, the comparison of the two and making that, not knowing how to make that choice. But I ultimately just stuck in this because I was really obsessed with it. Okay. So that kind of takes me to fairly recently when I started kind of flip-flopping again after I was kind of done with this. So now that my trip is over and I'm kind of settled into the year, um, I was like, okay, starting to be over this teeny tiny size because if you see in here, it's just, it's not super practical if you're going to do any weeklies or anything like that in here, because it's just, it's too small, right? Like I can't actually plan personally in this very much. So what I ended up doing for a while was um, scrapping that. And then again, returning back to the digital. And I actually tried to even go like fully digital in a completely different way. So I started dabbling with maybe just using like my um, notes, my Apple notes as my full planner system and even using this as an agenda. So here, what I did was like I imported some of my planner inserts as just like a picture and I wrote on it and made this kind of my agenda. So yeah, I was trying to go fully digital in just a different way and I was like, oh, maybe this will draw my attention and keep me in digital. But yeah. Again, <laughs> the paper cravings do not go away, right? Like they just sneak back up on you. But you know what? It's okay. It's all in good fun. It's still a learning process. If you guys have any tips, let me know down below. Um, if you guys have been able to go fully digital, let me know your tricks. Um, yeah. So then I started thinking about uh, paper again and rings again. So that kind of leads me back up to fairly recently. So, um, in the past week or two, I've been really, it's like a, a full 180 or full 360, I should say, because it brings me back to, uh, to the beginning. So it's a 360. Um, I started thinking about rings again and I had got this Filofax at some point. This is the Filofax Personal Holborn, and I absolutely love this thing. I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels so nice in your hands. It's a good size because it's 19 millimeter ring, so it's not too big, but it's not so small that it's like you can't fit anything. And so I went back into um, thinking about how can I use a ring planner again. Um, yeah. So this is as of very recently. And yeah, I just got really inspired by uh, Lindsay Scribbles. And so I set this up again, um, kind of like as like a journal all in one type thing. And then I ended up switching my digital over to personal. So I kind of did a little flip shift. And I don't know how long that is going to last, to be honest, because if I use this as kind of like a memory keeper system, I need to, again, start printing out photos and stuff, right? And that's just not as easy as inserting it directly into a digital planner. So to be honest, I don't know how long that part is going to last. But the reason why I kind of did this was I found it to work. My iPad is great kind of as like a quick notepad to jot things down like 
and scribble it down. And then I don't have to worry about it because it's just on the iPad. It's not like I see it. Um, yeah, I don't know if that makes sense, but I've been using my digital planner now as a work planner on the daily pages. And when I'm in um, a meeting, I can just scribble down with my Apple Pencil really quickly. And yeah, if I wanted to make it prettier, I can. It doesn't ruin anything because it's all digital, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I've kind of done a little flip, but also kind of gone back to how I started beginning to, at the beginning of the year in terms of still using digital and a ring planner. I just kind of switched it around a little bit. And I think, you know, that's just part of planning. I'm glad I didn't buy anything new or at least too much new this year. I've been trying to be conscious about you know what I'm buying and so that's kind of where I'm at um and I can do another video deep diving into like a flip of this maybe I'll do that in another video if you guys are interested but I'm really just loving the way this is looking um and I'm loving that I can like you know have little ephemera pieces that I can just punch in here this was our uh, flight ticket for our trip earlier this year and I just love that I can you know cut out little pieces and put it in here when my girls have drawings and stuff I can keep them as memories I have all these stickers that I want to use and I can uh, do that so yeah that's kind of where I'm at let me know down below what you guys are using this year and if you guys are feeling like you're hopping all over the place again or if you guys have kind of settled into a 2024 system I love 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 chatting about planner systems so let me know down in the comments below if you guys want like a detailed flip of this and how I'm using it uh, let me know as well thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye